All right, welcome to another edition of Alumni Zoom Room with the Bristol Bayhawks. I'm Derek Rivera, Director of Athletics and Recreation at Bristol Community College. We'll be hosting a series of discussions highlighting former Bristol Community College student athletes. Before I introduce today's guest, I wanna let you know you can find all alumni room Zoom recordings as well as our Bristol, Ath Bristol Student Athlete Planning Series at bristolccbayhawks.com. Today's guest was a two-year member of our men's basketball program Back in 2011-12 and 12-13, we have Eddie Torado. Eddie, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Derek. Thank you for having me today. Great to have you. Uh, Eddie, just tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, who you are. Um, well, like you said, my name is Eddie Torado. I'm from Providence, Rhode Island. Um, currently now, I am 31 years old. I have a three-year-old daughter um, named Peyton. Um, I graduated at Bristol in 2013 with my associate's degree. Then I graduated from Southern New Hampshire in 2017 with my bachelor's degree in psychology. And currently now I work at the New Bedford um, High School as a behavior specialist. That's great. That's, that was a new, uh, that's a new job for you, right? Job, new job. I just started on Monday. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, and, and Peyton just had a birthday recently, right? Yes, her birthday was yesterday. Yeah, so I said happy birthday. I will. I will. She's actually <laughs> currently taking a nap still. She had a long day. She started preschool. Those are, those are long days in preschool. Yes, yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Eddie, before we, before we started recording, um, you, you told me a, a story about how you, how you came to Bristol. Um, you, know, you mind sharing that? Oh, yes. Uh, Ray Pena, I know you're going to see this, bro, because I'm going to share this with you. Um, started with him. Um, actually, you know, me and Ray, we go way back. We've been friends since uh, we were probably like 12 years old. So it's been about like about 18 year friendship. Um, he told me about Bristol because of his brother-in-law at the time, Shane DeRosa, who was a former player at Bristol as well. So back in February 2011, he was like, hey, let's go check, check a game out. Let's try and play college basketball. At the time, I was at CCRI taking classes. So I was like, you know what? I'll give it a shot. Then I brought my friend, another friend, longtime friend, 18 plus years, Victor Smith. So we went to a game in February. BCC was playing against Mass Bay. Tough game. BCC loses. After the game, me, Ray, Victor, we walk up to Coach D, coach at the time, and we introduce ourselves and we ask, hey, we, we would like an opportunity to, to try and play in the fall. That right there, uh, that's, that's what it started. Um, I was able to get a couple more guys to come up to Bristol at the time. With, like, there was five of us from Providence. Um, Jose Paulino, Benjamin Nunez, Bass, Victor Smith, Ray Pena, and myself. Um, yeah, the journey started in 2011, and like, it, it's crazy because we were coming all the way from Providence, about a half hour away. But I was coming from, I was further from everyone else. I was, my, my days were starting at five o'clock in the morning. I was taking two city buses to get to the other side of town to meet up with the guys to, to a carpool and drive up to school. And we were there all day until 11 p.m. until after practice. That was the day, that was my schedule, Monday through Friday for the last two years from when I was there from 2011 till 2013. That's uh, that's dedication, Eddie. Yes, yes. <laughs> I actually ended up moving to Fall River midway sophomore year, so it kind of it kind of helped helped me out a little bit. Um, cause but then I was you know I was new to the city, so you know I didn't know my way around like with buses and stuff. So Victor Smith would come pick me up, or I would meet up with Jose Paulino. They would come pick me up at my house, and then we would go to and we would go to class. And, and you guys got it done. You guys got it done. Good. Um, good. <laughs> um, when, you know, that, that class kind of op opened up a pipeline for us. I, I 
I think it was probably, your, you know, your group of guys that came in from Providence uh, that kind of opened up that pipeline of, of Providence uh, uh, basketball players. Yeah, if not, there's, there's some guys who, who say, hey, like, thanks to you guys, like, we got, we're able to have that opportunity. It's tough in Rhode Island, you know, we only have one junior college, you know, and we have a, you know, a few Division three schools, but, you know, so not everyone gets to play right away. So junior college is your best bet. But at the time I was, I was a 21 year old freshman at BCC. So yeah, it was crazy. But I blended in just like everyone else, you know. <laughs> for sure, for sure. <laughs> um, so, so you came to Bristol for two years. Um, you, you played some basketball. Um, I know I, I, we have a picture of you somewhere at graduation. Um, so, what, what, you know, tell us a little bit about what, you know, what, what happened, what, what steps did you take after Bristol? So after Bristol, um, I ended up going to LaSalle College to actually try and play basketball, but it didn't work out. Um, school was expensive, so I, I had to quit the team to actually get a job so I could finish paying off for the semester. Transferred out, um, was trying to find another school, so I actually came back to BCC to get more advice. So I went to see Coach D, and, and he brought up, hey, why don't you try going to school online? Because I used to take classes online as well at BCC. So I was just like, you know what? It's, it's a good idea. My, pretty much my last resort, I did it. 15 months later, I was able to graduate with my bachelor's degree in psychology. But it wasn't easy because at the same time, I was working a third shift job. Uh, at the time, my daughter was on the way. Um, and I was playing semi-pro basketball at the same time and taking the classes online. So it was, it was, I was busy. It was busy. Definitely a lot on your plate. So uh, you continue to play some basketball. You just you, you mentioned, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? I know you played, uh, uh, you know, here and, and, I, and I believe overseas. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yes. Um, I, my, first, my journey started um, in the ABA. Um, I played with a team in Boston. Um, it was great. Played against ex-NBA players. Um, and that kind of opened up and up. Um, an outlet more and more it just more opportunities to you know actually go overseas um i played on played in the aba after my first season i was able to get enough film to get myself on a tour to el salvador in central america when I, I was out there for about a week there was about five contracts at the time available there was 10, 10 good basketball players. There was 10, 10 oh, everyone, we, we, if a team could have signed all of us, we earned it because that's what we did. We played together. My, I was playing, I met guys from New York, Kansas, Florida, Chicago, Texas, California, Arkansas. Like, and basketball is basketball. If you know how to play the game, you guys can mix, you, you can play with anybody. And we just gelled. Unfortunately, I did. I wasn't one of the first five guys to get a contract. Came back home, went and played in the PBL. Then it was called the Premier Basketball League um, with the Providence Sky Chiefs for a few games. Then I went back to the ABA to continue playing, just to get more film, just to be ready. And then nine months after, um, after being home, after coming back from the tour, I was offered a contract to play in El Salvador but it was a contract to play. It was like half a season. So um, team called me through Facebook Messenger. Next day I was on a flight and I was gone. Um, I played in um, the second division um, in El Salvador. I played about five games there. And then one of the guys who I was on the tour with, Alex Barner, that's another guy, appreciate him to death. Um, all the way from Kansas, um, he, he was playing in the top division and he came to one of my games and after the game, he was like, hey, you want to play in the top league? Of course, that's a no brainer. You want to play in the top league. Your games are televised on television. It's like on their ESPN, but it's called it's Tigo Sports. So of, of course, I wasn't going to pass up on that opportunity. And 
I went up with him, literally talked to the coaches, the general manager. The next day in the morning, they had a they had a they had a guy out there ready for me, car ready. Took my bags and I was on to the next city. Um, then I was out there for a few more weeks. Um, was able to play a few games and average a quick double double, thirty and ten. Um, it literally was like the best experience I've like I've ever had with basketball. Um, besides um, playing at BCC because I never played high school basketball. So I never played high school basketball, played at BCC, then played semi-pro, then was able to play overseas. So it, my journey is different compared to anyone else's journey who played overseas. My journey wasn't easy, but grateful to, be, to play at BCC because it's where it started. That's where I learned more the game of basketball more because of Coach D, Coach Ford, Coach Smith, and Coach Carlisi. That's it's definitely definitely an interesting story there, Eddie. I mean, you 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 know you mentioned the word opportunity, um, and it, and it sounds like you you really created those opportunities for yourself and uh, and certainly taking took advantage of those. Um, I usually I've been asking the, the our, our guests that that come on here. You know what? What advice would you would you give to a current or or, or future Bristol student athlete? But um, given given the, uh, the the circumstances, the situation with your new job at New Bedford High School and opportunity to uh, have a lot of impact on on a lot of students, you know what what advice do you share or will you be sharing with those students? Always, how can I say it? If you're an athlete, student first. Student first because. If you're not in the classroom taking it serious, no, no one's who's gonna no one's gonna take someone who's average, who's just getting there. Put in the work, scholarships come, and at the end of the day, nobody wants student loans, and that's the honest truth. You know, yeah. if you can go to school for free, do it. it you, but it starts in the classroom. You got to put in the work. The the work is in the in the putting. I got that from another professional basketball player from Providence, Lamont Thomas, um, who played a, a J. J. Wu alumni. Um, yeah, it's it's you you get what you put in. So I mean, there's a lot of resources at BCC. So take advantage of it. There's a lot of resources. I've it it, it it's I'm speechless sometimes because I got the help I needed. And I was able to help others, give them the help that I got. And it just, we just kept passing it on to everyone else. Cause at the end of the day, we all wanted to succeed. Everyone wants to succeed, especially when on, on the court, whatever sport you play, soccer, baseball, you know, tennis, you know, basketball, whatever, cop, um, cross country, doesn't matter, but you got to school. And that's one thing that I was drilled at BCC, student first student first, you're a student. So you gotta take care of business in the classroom and obviously outside the classroom. Good stuff there, Eddie. Um, really appreciate you taking the time here with us today. Um, you know, just a great story. I, I really enjoyed hearing what you had to say. Uh, we're real proud of you, proud of what you've accomplished uh, at Bristol and uh, what, you're, what you continue to accomplish. And, um, you know, wish you the best and, and hope to see you around and, and certainly stay in touch. Always, always, always. All right. We appreciate you, Eddie. Thank you. All right, Derek. Have a good one.